remember remember the all female ghostbusters remember how not only was it a terrible movie an, an unstoppable cringe fests and an unstoppable cringe fest but then they decided that they would spit on the legacy of ghostbusters even though they wanted to be called ghostbusters and they wanted to replace the ghostbusters and uh you know i think that uh it's been very very interesting to watch all their careers post that movie i remember when they went after men call, you know, yelled at men for not seeing uh for not you know buying their pro or going to see their woke crap movie and all this kind of stuff now Leslie Jones is opening up on the Ghostbuster threats on her life. Leslie Jones, has anybody even said her name in forever? Uh, this is definitely not, this is definitely not a clout grab. Definitely. Definitely not a clout grab at all. Leslie Jones opens up about the brutal racism and threats she received over involvement in the 2016 Ghostbusters reboot. Why are people being so evil to each other? How can you just sit there and type, I want to end you? Who does that? Now, I will argue that I don't support that. And I remember at the time of the reboot, I covered it. Uh, there were some people saying some vile things. Um, there was the... Uh, tribute photos which i'm not going to really describe in depth how those happen but it's like when someone posts a picture of a picture of you with some bodily fluid on it there was all sorts of weird gross stuff that was going on i think she's who got milo banned from twitter um and uh and and what's what's hilarious is um and then also jason reitman's unforgivable Comment on fighting to increase her only her sixty-seven thousand dollars. She only made sixty-seven thousand dollars to work for a couple weeks, guys. Feel bad. Feel bad for her. Rolling Stone published an excerpt from Leslie Jones's new memoir. Oh, I'm sure that's gonna be number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Uh, about she opened up with the brutal racism and threats she received for her involvement in the 2016 Ghostbusters reboot. Well, remember, the entire advertising plan for that movie was to attack the original fandom. Remember? Remember. The Sony release directed by Bridesmaids Helmert Paul Feig, who is a moron, a uh, male feminist who got caught cheating on his wife. I'm not making that up. That's a fact. Um, became the target of mean trolls for featuring a cast of all women. Jones starred in Ghostbusters opposite Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, and Kate McKinnon. Jones recalled the film's European press tour where a journalist said to her, I don't like this movie, and you've got five minutes to prove to me that it's worth watching. Based! Based! What's wrong with that? Based! You've got, yeah, explain to me why I should care about a movie that spits on the, on the past, has a director who is a fraud, and uh, has a marketing campaign of um, hating men. It wasn't just the racism and misogyny either, she writes. A lot of it had to do with the fact that I was playing an MTA worker. What? As though that was something I should be ashamed of. I tried to fight back. I was a comic. I was used to someone heckling me. So for every piece of BS on Twitter, I had a reply. Yeah, I remember she was... Um, uh, I remember when she was uh, having a meltdown on Twitter every day. I remember when uh, that loser, Patton Oswalt, um, went after Angry Video Game Nerd for not wanting to see the movie. And I remember Angry Video Game Nerd's res response... The problem was it, it echoed every one of our actual reasons for not wanting to see the movie. We didn't want to see the movie. I think his video was titled something like Ghostbusters reboot. No, I won't see it. I refuse or something like that. His main point was that the best opportunity 
to make this movie was years ago and they never did it. In fact, they made, he made a great point, And this is a thing I will bring everybody back together on, re-remind people. They made a third Ghostbusters movie. If you take all the cutscenes from the Ghostbusters video game and watch them, I'm sure there's a video on YouTube where somebody does that. Um, that's the third movie. Like, if that's what you want, you had like the voice, the original voice actors, everybody together. That's your third movie. There was no need. Jones ended up deleting her Twitter account for 24 whole hours because the online meanness was so bad. But she was she was pl- going into it. You know, she was leaning into it. She was going back and forth with trolls. Uh, Jones, so Jack Dorsey was the CEO of Twitter at the time and sent a tweet to Jones telling her to DM him. She writes that he was aware that I was being brutally attacked uh, and worse. So she messaged him adding, Jack put people on my account to monitor it because someone is always trying to hack me. And, And I remember all the people that got banned too. Later on, Leslie Jones remembered breaking down in tears because of the bullying got so hostile it turned into threats. I can't, I mean, that I don't support. You know, I definitely don't support that. Oh yeah, here, I was being sent films uh, of being hanged and white guys uh, <laughs> pleasuring themselves on my picture saying, uh, blah, 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 blah. Who does that? I don't know who does that. That is legit unhinged, okay? I agree that that is weird. Um, but uh, Jones also remembered that director Jason Reitman saying on a podcast that his 2021 Ghostbusters reboot Afterlife was trying to go back to the original technique and had to hand hand the movie back to the fans. 100% agree. Now, I thought Ghostbusters Afterlife was essentially a Stranger Things ripoff that was like made worse by having the kid from Stranger Things as the actor. It had that obvious Stranger Things aesthetic but I still liked the movie. Is it worth rewatching in my opinion? Maybe. I could probably watch it again now. Paul Rudd was great in it. Um, I love the lineage of that. They were uh, Egon's grandkids. I liked all that. There were so many great member berries. Seeing the guys all together at the end of the movie as ghosts, I thought, or having you know Egon c- come back as a ghost, I thought, how cool was that? I thought they did it so tastefully. And it tied in to the original. You got to see like her watching the old Ghostbusters commercials. There were so many member berries done right that it, it was just a great film. So now she's mad that, you know, Reitman, the son of the original director, said we're giving the movie back to the fans. Well, Ghostbusters 2016 was not for the original fans. It was to tell you that it would be better if women were Ghostbusters. Although Reitman tried to walk it back, he later said that came out wrong. I have nothing but admiration for Paul and Leslie and Kate and Melissa and Kristen and the bravery with which they made Ghostbusters. They expanded the universe and made an amazing movie. No, they didn't. It was terrible in every conceivable way. Bringing up the idea of giving the movie back to the fans was a pretty clear shout out to all those losers who went out, went after us for making an all-female film. It was also a very bad film. Elsa in the excerpt, Joan said that she had to fight for her worth on the set of making Ghostbusters. It was made clear to me at a time during the process that I was lucky to even be in the movie. But honestly, I was thinking, I don't have to be in this mf she writes. Especially as I got paid way less than Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wake. Well, they're bigger draws. No knock on them. But my first offer to do this movie was $67,000. I had to fight more. In the end, I got 150000 But the message was clear. This is going to blow up on you after this. You're made for life and all this kind of stuff. And as though I hadn't had decades of successful career already, she had decades? I'd never even heard of her. I know she was on SNL for a while. Like, that's that's it? She didn't even want to be there and it was only about the money? I, for one, am shocked. Now, I don't have anything personal against Leslie Jones. I think she's extremely unfunny. But most people... I also 
don't support people, you know, being racist towards her simply because she took a role in a movie. Um, I don't support those tribute pictures. That's just gross and unhinged. That said, uh, I don't even know how you could get to completion looking at a picture of her, to be honest. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I think it's funny that, you know, she's still talking about Ghostbusters 10 years later after making the movie or eight years later. And uh, the movie sucked. It was, it was destined to fail from the very beginning. And when it happened, they blamed white men as they usually do. Who could possibly have foreseen that? 